Sorry for the delay, January has been absolutely crazy, so the vlog is a bit delayed, but it will come to you right now. In the last vlog we were talking about the brain and how we work in social communities, how animal brains work. We were talking about biology and brain. And uh, this week, I promised last time I would share with you the interview with Brian. So here it is. So Brian, yep. you are a part of the executive management team here in the, in the rainforest. Yes. And uh, this year you've done something new. Yes. You want to... You want to gain more of the real rainforest in, uh, in Ecuador? Or how yeah. Is it? yeah, what's we, the project? We, we have a conservation project in Ecuador uh, and it's a quite simple uh, project. We buy rainforest land uh, just to preserve it. So yeah. we buy up uh, rainforest and just leave it to be. Uh, so it's just rainforest, all the animals and plants and everything. So can, what is the purpose? The purpose is just to, to uh, give nature uh, a breathing room, a place to be nature. Yeah. Uh, so we buy it and then we just let it uh, stay on its own. We have um, some um, guards that, that patrol the, the area so nobody goes in and uh, yeah. collects bush, bush meats. So and you have employees down there? We have employees down there that, okay. uh, that manage the area. Uh, but everything is just left uh, on its own so nature can do what nature does best. So biodiversity is at its best down there? Yes, as it should be. It's, one, it's one of the best, uh, uh, one of the most diverse places in the whole world. Oh. Um, it's, uh, it's been um, researched and, and there's more species of animals and plants in that area of Ecuador than anywhere else in the world. Okay. Uh, and that's why we picked that spot. And that's why you want to keep it and... That's why we want to keep it. Our main goal in Rana's Rainforest, or our vision, is to um, save the world. Mm. Uh, it's a very, very big uh, thing to say and it's a very big thing to do. And we know we can't do it alone and we can't do it all at once. So now we started in Ecuador with uh, saving uh, some biodiversity. Mm. You're right, you can't do it on your own. No, we can't do it on our own. So, so uh, and that's a part of the project. Yes. And, uh, and you could say that Making the world better is a, is a big goal to have. I just talked to Asa, uh, which is in last week's vlog, mm -hmm. but talked to him about we need some kind of purpose, yeah. uh, something we want to do. And you have set that as a purpose for Anas Reinskog and for all the employees here. Yeah. And now you're taking it a step further. Yes. We, we normally, what we normally do to, to uh, raise money for this uh, project, because it obviously costs money to buy land, mm -hmm. um, we take some of the, um, the money that we earn here in, in Ranas, in this uh, lovely zoo, uh, and use it in this project. Um, and we, we get good funds doing this. But uh, this year we wanted to take it a bit further, uh, get some more funds, but actually the main purpose was more to involve all our employees mm -hmm. and uh, maybe their families and friends and network uh, yeah. if, uh, if everything went well. Um, so the idea was to, to uh, we, we had a whole day where we didn't do anything else pretty much than to talk about how can we raise uh, 150,000 Danish kroners for this concept in 24 days. The 24 days uh, in December until Christmas Eve, of, yeah. of course. Um, and everybody was, uh, all of our employees are quite passionate about nature and, and uh, of course our project in Big Eye. Um, so everybody was really keen on finding cool ways to, to do this and uh, some people donated their time. Uh, here in the rainforest they said, well, I, I, can we uh, auction away uh, a tour around the zoo? I'll do it for free. Uh, I don't need any pay. I don't need anything. Mm -hmm. if, if people will pay uh, to buy rainforest and I can just give my time, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, our uh, head gardener, mm -hmm. he plays the saxophone and uh, he's been uh, out in the city playing the saxophone and people could uh, donate money uh, for, to him yeah. um, and he's uh, very passionate about that yeah. so, so so it's letting go of people's other passions uh, so to say mm -hmm. saying go do that that would be nice and if you would do something about it 
you're not controlling them. You're not saying, we want you to do this. I want you to take your saxophone and go play. It's, he no. volunteers. Uh, the, the, only, uh, the only things that are uh, putting a, a barrier in, in what people can do is obviously the law. Uh, yeah. There's uh, tax uh, things that you have to consider and everything. But yeah. everything that we, can, that we can think about and that we can actually do on this very short time, mm -hmm. um, people just, just do it. Um, and I know that the, actually this is not new to the rainforest to setting passion free. No. Because mm -hmm. uh, back in the days when I got to learn you, get to know you, mm -hmm. uh, 10 years ago or something like that, you were an amateur photographer. Yes. And the rainforest said, if that's something you like, this is your venue, do whatever you want to. And, and now two years in a row, you've been awarded as the... Well, uh, it's... Um, Three years. Three years I, ago. Yeah, I was uh, uh, two years ago. I was awarded best photographer of the year in in Denmark. Then last year I was uh, second, a runner-up, and then this year again I was number one. You were number one. Yes. Yes. Um, well, th so that is that is actually also thanks to the rainforest thing. Uh, totally. Let's, totally. Let's go I have uh, the best playground in the world for, for learning photography. Yeah. And um, my, uh, my boss, uh, when I started photography, he said, well, Brian, if you can uh, supply us with uh, photos, you just do that all you want, and we'll pay you for each photo that we, that we use. Yeah. And this was a, a great motivation for me. I was a, a student. I didn't have a lot of money, so I could actually do what I, I really was passionate, passionate about. Uh, I could earn, earn some money, so I could take my girlfriend out to travel, and um, yeah, the rainforest got a lot of good pictures. Uh, so it's a win-win situation. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, you started as a zookeeper, mm -hmm. if I understand it right. Yeah, well, actually, I started as a, an intern. Oh. Uh, I was here um, a couple of weeks, and then I uh, was asked if I wanted to to. Uh, start as a zookeeper trainee, mm -hmm. then I was a zookeeper trainee for four years, and then I started as a zookeeper, and then after that I had a couple of years where I was a photographer and project manager, so when we built new stuff, I was the manager of that. And today, you I sit am, with the responsibility of the exhibitions, of the yes. animals, and <coughs> Today I'm, I'm head of what we call head of exhibitions, yeah. so everything that people see, that's my responsibility. And all the people that work here is, is uh, my people. Then I have a question. Yes. How about your passion about photography? Has, has that gone away or can you still play a bit in the rainforest? My passion for the photography is, is still there. Uh, maybe even more than, than it ever was. And um, I still uh, do it. It's, I don't have all that time that I, I want to, but I, I guess that's, that's probably <laughs> the biggest problem in the world is, is, time. That, is time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, the rainforest still uses my skills, and, and if we need pictures for uh, marketing or something like that, then it's, uh, it's me who does it. Uh, and that's not because it's uh, cheaper or anything, but it's because that my passion is uh, important for, for, for the company. Yeah. So uh, if I get to use my passion and, and get uh, creative, um, training there, then mm -hmm. it will make me happy and I'll be a better uh, manager for the people that I want. And I try to do this with, with my people as well. If they have a project that is in the best interest for Renner's Rainforest, or if we can maybe tweak it just a little bit so it will be a good, uh, good thing for us, I, I uh, applaud it and say, do it. Do it. Yeah. So you um, believe in the value of passion? 100%. So that's more important than getting more money and earning more money and uh, well, just wanting, wanting, wanting. It's about let's do something together. Um, I think that, uh, I don't know if it, it's more important because if we don't earn any money, then the company won't be here and we can't do our passion. So we have to have a, a, a responsible view of the economy of mm -hmm. our company. But um, what we find is that the more that we can actually uh, harness people's passion uh, and let them uh, do what they do best and, and are passionate about, uh, the more money we earn. So don't you think in general, if people are connected to this rainforest and to their job and to, to the family here, don't you think they would be pretty responsible with the money? <laughs> yes, uh, they are. 
I think we all people here in in the rainforest um, think of the money and the the, the company as uh, our second family or our second home. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, they are very responsible with it, and know that if we uh, if we hold a little. Uh, the, the money a little bit closer, then we, we can do stuff that we really like uh, yeah. uh, instead of just... Hmm. Yeah. So this year, you put out uh, fundraising with the activation of passion. Yeah. Can you share what will be the next project? Do you know? I don't know. Not yet. Um, but, no, I don't know right now. What, uh, what uh, Now we are totally 100% focused in... Uh, uh, in this project, of course, I know what we're gonna build and and all of the yeah. the, the things that uh, that's around the exhibit uh, here. But um, but what the new big uh, big, big thing is, I don't know yet. The big passion project, you don't no, know what it is. No, we don't know it. Okay. No, it will so, re reveal itself when we are when we're ready. And might not even be your idea. Probably not. No. Probably not. No. So I believe that a company like the Rainforest, if you work with the passion, if you dare to let go of it, dare to set it free and not take too much control and not measuring everything, measuring how many pictures do I get and how much time does he spend and so If you just let it go, you get much more out of it. And, and this is not about a model that we will work with, you have to do this and then that will happen. It's about just trusting that it will go good, it will be good. Mm. And it's about just doing it. And uh, yeah, have the trust and uh, enjoy whatever happens. We don't know what happens, but we should trust something good comes back to us. Thank you very much, Brian. No problem. It was a Anytime. pleasure talking to you again. <laughs> and you it's too. Great, it's great being back here. Yeah. You're always welcome. Thank you. How extraordinary, how amazing to see a company which is a tropical zoo trying to do new when they talk about leadership, trying to do something different and doing it for the benefit of saving the earth. How amazing. And I think it would be nice for me to say right now that the target was 150,000 Danish kroners and they actually achieved that and they went beyond. So they could buy 130 soccer fields of rainforest. So all in all, they have about 14 square kilometers of rainforest to, to preserve. So brilliant, brilliant work. And um, I'm I'm happy they wanted to share that and I'm happy to see the way that all the employees in the in the tropical zoo did their utmost to achieve this target. And this shows to me a lot that if we just let go of all the measuring, let go of all the we want to take control, but believe that the employees actually come to work and they want to do good. If we have something that's worth working for, they will do it and they will do their utmost and they will create successes that we haven't even expected. So 150,000 in 24 days, how amazing is that? So try to think about whether you in your organization can set free the passion in your employees, set free the passion of the people close to you and see what happens. I'm sure that if you let go a bit of the measuring, sometimes we need to measure a bit. Yeah, yeah I know. Or show interest at least. But if we try to do it as little as possible, we will see people blossom and then we see them do new stuff. And that is exactly what good leadership is about. So that was all for me for this video and I will see you in the next vlog.